Hey guys, I'm Igor from Noblex Solutions and today's video is special. We are going to review the brand new Nanrobot LS7 Plus. We have done all possible tests, including speed tests and range tests, and we're ready to give you the full in-depth review. I've had many electric scooters in the past, and believe me, this one is on a whole different level. This machine is super exciting. We are on the way to 2000 subscribers, so show us some love and subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, smash the like button. This video is full of useful information about electric scooters in general. So make sure to stay with me until the end of this video. And if you have any questions, I will be glad to help you in the comment section. Now let's begin. We did a full unboxing video last month, so we are not going to cover that here. The packaging was on point, everything was perfect, we found a lot of extras in the box. Let's be honest, this scooter is not cheap and I suppose you would expect it to be high quality. And of course, you will find the quality here. The weakest point of all scooters is the folding stem. So as you can see, the stem is massive here and it feels super solid. We found a couple of small issues, but we will talk about them later. The LS7 Plus features a new color display. I love this thing. It's big and bright. I like it way more than those standard 2-inch screens that you see on pretty much every scooter. All other components on the handlebars are also high quality and very well positioned. The LS7 Plus is the most comfortable scooter I've ever ridden. I will explain why very soon. The lights on the LS7 Plus are truly outstanding. In addition to the tail and headlight, it features those stem and deck lights. You will find a bunch of modes here, solid color or flashy lights. You can choose the colors of the lights too. I prefer solid color mode, for example red or blue lights. Those lights not only look good, but they also give you a peace of mind while riding in low light conditions. There is no way you will be left unnoticed. The stock version comes with 11-inch off-road tires. I wish they put uh, the road tires on because those are really noisy on asphalt. But that's not a big deal. At the same time, with those 11-inch off-road tires, you will definitely feel more comfortable off-roading. Compared to 10-inch tires, those wide 11-inch tires are definitely a better option for rough terrain. And now to the brakes. Those are amazing. I've had four scooters with not hydraulics brake before and I've never had any issues with those. In combination with 160 mm brake discs, those hydraulic brakes are super smooth. So obviously 10 out of 10 to the brakes here. As you might have guessed, the scooter is huge. LS7 Plus weighs 110 pounds or 52 kilos. The portability is similar to the Cabo Wolf Warrior or some Dualtron scooters like Ultra or Thunder. In fact, there is no way you can put that in the trunk of a regular sedan. Backseat of your car would be the only way, but we don't say it's a good option though. Its deck space is massive. Most of the time you don't even need the footrest. If you're a big guy, you will definitely enjoy that massive deck. In my opinion, many scooters on the market have really short decks. And even scooters like Nami Bird E, Cabo Wolf Warrior and Dualtron Storm look super restricted in terms of deck space. I have ridden some scooters with really short decks and believe me, once you try out the D6 Plus or LS7 Plus, you will understand what I'm talking about. The riding experience and comfort go to a whole different level. Okay guys, now let's measure everything. The deck is 25 inches long, it's 11 inches wide, the whole scooter is 55 inches long as well. That's, that's a huge machine. And from the deck to stem it's 40 inches, about 42 inches to handlebars. Uh, the deck is about 11 inches high from the ground. Uh, the handlebars are 27 inches long. Those are pretty wide. If we compare it to the D6, the deck is 23 inches long, 10 inches wide, and it's 
11 inches high from the ground so the stem is 38 inches from the deck and 39 inches to the handlebars so LS7 is a little bit bigger in every way. I gotta say that the stem is the highest I've ever seen on any scooter and uh, that's actually a good thing. I'm 6.1 or 185 centimeters and actually I wouldn't want it to be any lower. The position, the riding position is really natural. You don't have this kind of position because if your stem is really short you will not find it comfortable. If, especially if you're a tall guy you're a heavy guy, you want your position to be like this. So it's really comfortable and I really enjoy it. You can even make this handlebar, you can get an aftermarket bar that is straight. So if you're not very tall, you can replace the handlebar quite easily. So it will be more suitable for you. And if you ask about the hill climbing, really, it's hard to find a hill that it cannot climb. Let's try this hill from a dead stop. And now let's do a comparison with the Nandrobot V6 Plus. LS7 Plus literally destroys a 2000 watt 40 mile per hour D6 Plus. And finally, let's talk about the most exciting topic. We have already tested its top speed in our previous video, and the result was pretty impressive. We got 58 miles per hour or 93 kilometers per hour. The acceleration is super fast too. We got it to 30 miles per hour in just 3.8 seconds, 6.5 seconds to 40 miles per hour, and 11 seconds to 50. So as we all know, the D6 Plus is not a slow scooter. It has uh, the max speed of 40 miles per hour. It has dual 1000 watt motors compared to the LS7 Plus. It's uh, 2400 motors each. And we want to give you a quick comparison in a, in a drag race, put both side by side, the D6 Plus and the LS7 Plus. Let's see it. So you can, you can see how much power the LS7 Plus has compared to the really good D6 Plus. As a part of this review, we will put Nandrobot LS7 Plus side by side with a BMW in a drag race. We also tested its range in our previous video. The battery here is 60 volt, 40 amp hour, and I managed to get 37 miles on a full charge using dual drive, eco mode, and different gears. I believe on the slowest settings it can go beyond 50 mile mark. Getting a full charge takes 10 hours with one charger and about 5 hours with two. Not very impressive numbers, so I hope they will start selling a fast charger really soon. Let's take a look at the suspension. We have a C-type suspension here similar to the Nandrobot D6 Plus. It does its job very well. It's perfect on rough terrain, really smooth on pretty much every surface. Those hydraulic springs provide really nice damping as well. In other words, you will definitely enjoy the quality of the suspension. And here's a really nice extra feature, a steering damper. I've talked about it in our previous videos. This feature is a must on a scooter like this. So big thumbs up to Nandrobot for adding this for free. There was absolutely no wobble during our speed test. And actually you can even ride your scooter with one hand in some situations. After riding the LS7 for about 3 weeks, I believe every scooter that goes faster than 40 miles per hour should have a steering damper. 
Before my final words, I'll go over the things that I think need an improvement. The fenders on the LS7 are way better than on 99% of the electric scooters. At the same time, I would love them to be a little bit longer like on the D6 Plus. After riding on wet or dirty surfaces, your shocks and deck get really dirty, but that's not a big deal. Next one are the wire covers. They say those covers are waterproof, but personally I don't like the looks of those. At the same time, your scooter is always work in progress, so if you decide to improve this part, go grab the wire covers you like from Amazon. Those are super cheap. Next one, you also can't latch the stamp to the deck. At the same time, this scooter is far from being portable, so in my opinion, it doesn't matter. And finally, the headlight. They use the same bracket here like on the D6 Plus and it's not the most reliable part. I know they are going to improve that really soon, so that's not an issue really. You just need to make sure the headlight screws are really tight. And here's my conclusion. The new LS7 Plus is a true beast. I really love the design, the features, the speed. The steering damper is absolutely awesome. The custom lights are amazing. And uh, that's definitely an improvement over the old LS7. It's pretty much the next generation of the NAND Robot scooter lineup. I would say NAND Robot LS7 Plus belongs to the premium segment on the electric scooter market. Who is it for, you might wonder? Well, I believe it's for experienced riders who seek that crazy performance, superb comfort and all the high-end features that it offers. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope to see you in our next video, so smash the subscribe and notification bell buttons. Ride safe and see you next time.